Ah! Chill, man. You're acting like a real spass. Well, you scarred me. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. How you been? Well, I was hungry, but then I threw away a burger and now I feel grand. How you been? I was doing pretty good yesterday, but then I fell down. <laughs> oh, dang, bro. What are you like? 50? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's enough. I, I think we did enough. We gotta stop. We, we have to we stop. We gotta stop. We definitely have to stop. I think we really need to suppress this conversation. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man! Oh, man! That would really set me straight! <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, we're done. That was it. Yeah, we need to leave. We gotta get out of here. That was we good. That was, that was uh. good. Some would say, we need an intervention! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! What? <laughs> you you, you saw my eyes on! Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Shouldn't have started that fire yet. It's just blowing black smoke. Maybe because we threw a mannequin in there. I don't know. This is my friend. He's not a mannequin. This is a real person. He is a chef and um, he only uses pressure cookers. And his name is Preston. Preston. Chef Preston. And he wanted to teach me about pressure cookers today. And I said, that sounds boring, Chef Preston. So we're going to instead just see if Chef Preston can survive a pressure cooker explosion. So we have a series of experiments to find out. Welcome to the channel. And the thing is, pressure cookers have a little vent in them, so we're just gonna make sure to, uh, we're gonna close all the vents. I want ultimate pressure in my kitchen. Looks like Walter White. It's a skull from the last video. Oh, that smoke is bad. Okay, first, we have some electric crock pots, so we're not gonna use a fire on these. We're just going to plug them into a generator over here. And um, yeah, turn them on. We have them closed. We're gonna see if we can build some pressure in there and see if Chef survive. And if it doesn't explode, we're gonna explode it. First test, just plain water. We're just gonna fill it up with water, turn it on, see what happens. This is kind of the control test. I'm a real scientist. I went to school for a really long time, so I know how to do a scientific method. And this is that. This is our control. And we'll see what happens with just plain water. Pressure cook. Okay, I gotta do time. All right, time. yep. I turned it on. It's good, I can hear it hissing, which means it's letting a little bit of pressure out. We're just gonna let it cook for a little bit, see what happens. All right, we have the thermal drone up right now, and that pot is getting hot. Also, very interesting to see, um, you can see his shadow from the fire in front of him, putting heat toward him, and then it actually makes a shadow. It's not a real shadow, it's not a visible shadow but you can see it on the wood behind him because it's heating up. That fire's heating up all the wood, but not the wood right behind him. Pretty nuts. So it's definitely warm. We've had it going for about 10 minutes. It has not exploded yet. So I'm gonna use my um, pressure cooker release valve on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's a 50 BMG going at our crock pot pot. It's not a crock pot, it's a pressure cooker. Let's see if it has any pressure in it. Wow! That was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. I thought water was gonna be pretty lame. Let's go see if he survived. Also, we probably shouldn't have put him right behind. He probably has a bullet hole in his leg. I don't think the pressure cooker hurt him, but the bullet went straight through his his pee pee. Yeah, that's a bummer. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh man, it went down. So that bullet, oh, it was low. So it came in right there, skimmed the bottom of that pan, and then went straight through into his pee pee. The pressure inside this, it did explode. There was obviously pressure, but not enough to kill him. But would the results be different with mayonnaise? You guys ever pressure cooked your mayonnaise? It's really the only way to eat mayonnaise. It's so good like this. Best job I ever had. Best job.
Okay. It's pressure cooking. Oh, I just heard the generator kick up too. It started sucking power. Let's go. Mayonnaise. It's getting hot. You can see it on the thermal drone that it is warm now, but it's been going about 10 minutes. Hasn't exploded. So let's help it out, which we didn't really think these would explode because it's kind of made to do this. We did increase the pressure a bit, but let's see what happens when I add a 50 cal to the mix. What happened? It just went straight through. You see, we got a hit in the front and there is a perfect little hole in the back. Oh God. Oh, this is so gross. Is it hot? Oh yeah, it's hot. It's like separating in here, but it didn't seem like there was much pressure. But I mean it, you can see it just went big fail in the mayonnaise. Let's see what else we can get into. Who wants some nachos? We got nacho cheese coming right up. Also, it's gourmet nacho cheese. Sorry about the sun. Uh, it's a little, a little sunny out here. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna do this one in a, this is one you just put on a stove. So this is not a self-heating one. So we're gonna throw it on the fire. We have the holes plugged. This one should get very hot. Maybe we'll explode, ideally. We're also wondering if maybe the mayonnaise didn't explode just because there wasn't enough like room because we filled it all the way up. So I don't know if we should just do this. We also have a whole nother thing of gourmet nacho cheese. All right, we decided we're just gonna go half full. And we're gonna just set this thing in the fire. We have it sitting on the fire. Uh, these coals have been going for about 30 minutes. We've been feeding it, so it's on a hot bed of coals. He is about four feet from it. Let's see what happens. We've left the cheese sit in the fire on those coals for about 10 minutes and uh, has not exploded yet. So let's help it explode. We hit it and it's steaming, but it did not explode. It's hot in there. It's We got steaming cheese. That's the entry. There's the exit. No obvious pressure explosion. We need something that'll pressurize better than cheese and mayonnaise. How about some beer? Very fizzy and foamy. So maybe that'll make it uh, really explode. There's only one way to know. We have a uh, pressure cooker half full of beer. Let's cook it. This is gonna smell so bad. Oh, these coals are so hot. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's back up, give it about 10 minutes. And if not, we'll help it. If the water is the most exciting one that we have, that's gonna be real weird. Uh, we sat here for 10 minutes. The beer has not exploded. So let's blow the beer. Hopefully it does something instead of just putting a hole in there. That sounded like there was some pressure, but you could like hear it pop, but Chef Preston is fine. We have a hole in it at the level of the beer. I mean, there's definitely some hot beer in there. Just no explosion. This pressure cooker has a gauge so we can see. We're gonna do the old Mentos and Diet Coke. We got two Diet Cokes, but people never actually, they never actually uh, heat it up. So what happens when you do Mentos and Diet Coke and then heat it up in a pressure cooker and then shoot it with a 50 BMG? <laughs> Here we go. Are we building pressure? No. <laughs> Let's add some heat. So this one we don't have to worry about being next to it. Because we can see if it's getting pressurized or not. And it's not. <laughs> okay, welcome to Disappointment Ranch. It's not doing anything. We actually let this one sit even longer. And we just went and looked. The gauge still says zero. It's got a gasket. We closed the vent. We don't know why it is. And it doesn't sound like it's hissing or anything. So just another... Uh, Another probably nothing. Let's find out. Whoa, did you see the thing when it happened? Those, wow. It's steaming. Entry hole 
right there. We got an exit hole right there. And we got nothing exciting. I didn't think about if that would have thrown that hot stuff on us. That was a bad idea. What about rubbing alcohol? I suppose see how flammable this is. Let's fill up the pressure cooker with this. This has to work. If it doesn't, I'll never get on YouTube. Oh, no, that's not true. <laughs> Man, this is going everywhere. Oh, my leg! <laughs> Volcano! That was the test. We got bacon soda and vinegar. We're gonna do this at the same time in an electric crock pot as we have rubbing alcohol on the fire. Because I'm tired of wasting time with boring things. Open up a little more. Mike, you had one job! <laughs> Alright, turn on. Start. Oh man, I don't know if you're supposed to breathe those fumes, but it's fuming. Alcohol's on the fire. Vinegar baking soda's cooking in the back. Something has to explode, right? So the alcohol's on fire. I'm just gonna shoot it. Incendiary! Oh my gosh, look at that! That thing is that thing is definitely not holding pressure. Let's go ahead and take out the alcohol. That built pressure. That was really good. Should we go ahead and shoot the vinegar? It's gonna be way less exciting than that. Finally, you guys get something not lame on this channel. All right, let's see what the vinegar does. I'm betting a whole lot of nothing. The thermal drone does show that it has some heat in it though. Let's see. That was pretty boring. Yep, it's very warm. There's, there's the lid. So I didn't shoot the lid. It's bent like that just from pressure when it exploded, throwing it up. Finally, we built pressure in something. You can see the tiny little entry wound over here. 50 cal going in and the exit wound is a bit bigger. Sweet! It's got a hole in the front of it, but it's definitely beeping. It's steaming. It's weird that it's beeping. Don't it's locked. No, it's, that didn't hold our pressure in very good. I wonder if I hit too low. I was always aiming low so that we'd hit um, like down where all the stuff is, but it's just weird. It's got, it's bubbling out of here and nothing's leaking out of there. That did nothing. Look at the little thing on fire back there. We should probably put that out before it sets our entire wall on fire. Look at this. It sure would be a shame if this wall caught on fire. Like deep in there where we can't even stop it. We worked so hard on this. What is it? Oh, good gross. It's burning plastic. Okay, we have one more thing. We're gonna see what apple juice does in one of these. Uh, we keep our apple juice in, in big blue tubs. They actually sell them in these. I don't know why they sell them in these now, but I guess it's to keep the apple juice like better longer or something. Is that enough apple juice or you want more? Yeah, more, okay. Let's see how this pressurizes. I want your apple juice nice and hot. Okay, run. Run. The apple juice will get you. We should have let these build pressure for a couple minutes. See what happens. Nothing like boiling some gasoline over an open flame. Pressurized gasoline. Pressurized apple juice. I mean, I mean, did I say gasoline? My mistake. I, it's definitely apple juice. There's zero ethanol in that apple juice. I think it's time to help it out a little bit. Let's shoot the apple juice. Wow. That was cool. You know how apple juice is like a natural laxative? Explosive diarrhea.
I was aiming at the small one. I'm pretty sure it hit it. I'm going to shoot it again just to make sure. The big one definitely got hit. Oh, no. I can see a bullet hole in the small one. Let's shoot it anyway. Shoot. Water is the most dangerous thing to put in crock pots. We'd go in and investigate, but there's definitely still fuel in those. It's coming out of the holes. Um, I mean, apple juice. A apple juice is the fuel I was talking about. Your body's fuel. Uh, you guys been asking for this? We delivered. What else you want to know? Now we know the pressure cookers are actually fairly safe as long as you aren't putting flammable things inside them. Um, except for water. For some reason, water was like the craziest one. Thanks for watching this episode of Demolish Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>